Hello, and thank you for joining me on another one of my lifestyle series videos. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dimitri, and I'm an American expat living in the Philippines. Here, I'm going to share with you how my life is going living in Metro Manila. If you find this video entertaining, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I take in a journey of my daily life as a time-lapse traveler. That's one of the things that you will only find in the Philippines. Good morning. Yeah, morning is here, even though it doesn't feel much like it. Those roosters over there, oh boy, <laughs> throughout the whole night. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Yeah, that right there was happening. 10.50 in the evening, they started. And then they were going on and on randomly throughout the night. And then they just went at it like at 4.10 uh, is when they really couldn't stop. So going to the church right now because it's Sunday morning. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is the start of our day. And I'll check in with you later. The Adoration Convent of the Divine Mercy, commonly known as the Pink Sisters Convent in Taiga Tai City, is a major pilgrimage site here in the Philippines. Every year, countless people with their prayers and wishes are making their way to this place in hopes of a miracle that others attribute to it. The nuns of this church are members of the religious congregation called the Sister Servants of the Holy Spirit of Perpetual Adoration, a congregation first founded in the Netherlands back in 1896. The founding of this sixth convent here in Taigatai originated in Baguio City in the year 1990, after a devastating earthquake shook the city to its core. The damage there was so severe that the convent had to find a new base of operations and in the following year the foundations of this church were first laid here at this site. Well, now that the church service is over, everybody is starting to leave over here, but people are also waiting for the ride. <laughs> and uh, Chris and I are just waiting for mom and dad to come by with the car, pick us up. And then after that, we're going to be heading to our breakfast. The weather here is beautiful, by the way. I have to mention that uh, here in Tagaytay, the climate is a lot better than in Metro Manila. It's always a lot cooler. That's why you can actually find some local pine trees. That's something that I've always found fascinating. There are pine trees like this one over here. It's really beautiful. It's quite different from the pine trees that I'm used to. It is a really, really nice. The bark still looks kind of the same or similar to what a pine tree typically looks like. So just another uh, nice relaxing day here in Taigatai. The farmhouse is uh, just chilling. There's some construction plants ongoing, but right now we're about to have lunch and here we are. Mm, I love the tinola with rice that mom makes. She's so good at that. Hanging out with Chris, my mom, dad and Vincent. Bon appetit! Every time I visit this farmhouse here in Taigatai, one of the best parts of the experience for me is hanging out with some of the animals that live here. The loud mouthed rooster is notwithstanding. The mama goat is always very protective of her babies, and rightfully so. It is after all quite unspeakable what happens to goats around here once they get fat enough. It was such a joy to mingle with the many dogs who live here on the property. And now that there is a whole litter of puppies that are joining the fray, it's now more delightful than ever. The two grey pups, but especially the one with the lighter patches, really stand out in this crowd. You can tell that this one has a totally different personality comparing to any of her siblings. Unlike any of the other dogs, she loves to stay inside the house either to cuddle up on one of the mats by the door or to be played with by any of the people visiting. She's always clearly the crowd favorite. This isn't to say though that any of the others aren't some of the most adorable creatures I've ever seen. Every one of them brings so much joy that these images could not possibly give them justice. Once again, the mom was being very protective of her babies, but after a while, she roamed up to me and did not automatically start barking each time I approached. Ah yes, the roosters, my eternal enemies. Having just one of them close to where you try to sleep can be very disruptive, but here we had seven at first and later nine of these uh, things that like to, let's just say, communicate between each other. 
seems like they constantly have something to say. Why do you make so much noise? Chef! As part of the physical exercise for Chris, the two of us went out for a short walk to explore some of the territory beyond our farmhouse. Since we only ever see it while entering or leaving in a car, this was also a good opportunity for her to stretch her legs and possibly meet some of our neighbors. Because it was Sunday, however, there was really not much happening on this day. Well, after going for a little walk uh, around the property and then, you know, a little bit outside as well, uh, our good friend Mary came over. You know, Marienda. So we're just uh, enjoying her company right now. A company uh, with some buko pie and ice cream turned into a double date <laughs> with mom and dad over here. That's pretty cool. Really nice outing. That could not be better. This is a little cold, unfortunately. Huh? Let me. <laughs> but as for me, I couldn't be more comfortable. Mm. Oh, let's enjoy this buko pie and ice cream. Mm. Such a flavor. One of my favorites. Okay, I'm sorry, it's Chris's favorite. <laughs> now that you have seen what my family and I get to eat here at the farmhouse, I wanted to show you what Vincent, who takes care of the animals as well as the farm, cooks up as a stew to feed the hungry beasts. Vincent is dad's third degree grandson and joined the farm in the summer of 2017. Before that, he worked as a seaman and built a house for his mom up north of Luzon. Now his mom tends to their family banana farm in the province of Ilocos. These animals are the closest thing that Vincent has to his own kids and he really takes great care of all of them. And so now it's our turn for having dinner. And here it is. This time we're having, well, we're finishing up the tinola from earlier, but this time we also have this delicious looking chicken and sing, sinigang. Sinigang baka. Sinigang baka, beef. There you have it. Vincent is not joining us this time though because he's uh, over there with his friend. They're uh, chilling out together <laughs> without us. So anyway, let's get to eat. Yum, yum doing some therapy to get her vocal cords running better. To end this day, Chris and I spread out an air mattress on the lawn in front of the house for some stargazing. It couldn't have been a more beautiful end to this amazing day. And so I'm going to close out this video right here. I do hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, Please support my channel and hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and enable the bell icon to be notified of my upcoming videos. Please do take care of yourselves and each other, and always look forward for more videos coming at you from the Timelapse Traveler.